I have been vaccinated. <clears throat> However, I'm still supposed to wear a mask um, around people just in case because the COVID shot is supposed to not be 99 or whatever percent for me. Before weeks end, experts see the FDA approving extra doses of COVID-19 vaccine for folks who have weakened immune systems. They're not talking about, we are talking, I should say, about chemotherapy patients, transplant survivors like you just heard from, who are looking for extra protection. As reporter Larry Seward explains, some willing to do whatever the, do the doctor orders. Kelly Thorne waited more than a year for a kidney, a gift delivered in February from a stranger in Pittsburgh six months later. It's always in the back of my mind. She's waiting for advice on COVID-19 vaccine and the booster that could change her life. Even though I'm vaccinated and I'm immune is still weakened, you just still worry. Like, you know, what if I catch it from this or going in the store, touching this? I think I, I would definitely talk to the transplant doctor regarding. For you and I, we, we you know, Mask or not, you know, we're, we're vulnerable, but Kelly is a hundred times more vulnerable, and that scares me. We are living in crazy times with all this virus running around. I'm, I'm very nervous. As the number of people testing positive for coronavirus regionally topped 200 for the first time since March, a boost from the FDA could allow a third dose of COVID-19 vaccine to the immunosuppressed, including people on chemotherapy and transplant patients. According to Centers for Disease Control's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, that's less than 3% of all American adults, but they made up 44% of the 7,500 breakthrough cases where fully vaccinated people People still caught coronavirus. Mercy Health's chief clinical officer told us some develop little to no antibodies after two shots and could benefit from a third, something already happening in the tri-state without FDA authority. These are unique cases for which we're going to uh, do almost compassionate use. The advisory committee looked at, should we test antibody levels in immunosuppressed? And should that, be, should that guide us? Um, and several studies have shown that the antibody test really isn't available, accurate, and useful. Just give a dose of vaccine. Thorne, who is back working full-time, plans to do whatever her transplant doctor says to stay safe. Her family, too, knowing she's vulnerable, all of them chose to get vaccinated, but Dr. Fagans doesn't expect to see booster shots for the general public until sometime next year after the current COVID-19 shots on the market get full FDA approval. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.